What's up everyone, this is Cybernut8610, and today I wanted to do sort of a vlog video or something? I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this video. Uh, anyway, uh, what this video is about and all that is that um, I was invited, actually, to the Konami headquarters in LA and uh, be part of the Quarter Century Celebration live stream that they had going. This was all in February. I'm just now getting a chance to make this video. There's been a lot of stuff going on in life. Mostly good. I will say, you know, this is being one of those really cool things that happened this year already, and uh, we'll, we'll talk probably about more of that kind of stuff uh, later, other stuff's going on, because we have some big life updates and stuff, too, that I hadn't really had a chance to talk about. Um, anyway, um, before we really get into this video and dive into it, I want to say thank you to Konami. This video is not sponsored by them. They did not pay me to make this video. Um, they paid for my trip to go to their headquarters. And uh, then also they like had us food and that kind of stuff, you know, and they paid for our hotel and all that. So I want to make sure that is all clear. My wife was able to go with me, but I paid for her plane tickets. So just so all that's clear. Uh, yeah, I figured I should have that like disclaimer at the beginning. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about the trip and I'll, I'll show you guys some footage of what I recorded. So first off, going from little Oklahoma to, you know, it used to be Texas, now I'm Oklahoma if you didn't know, uh, to L.A., Wow. <laughs> so the Oklahoma City Airport, fairly big, but it's like nothing compared to LAX. That was terrifying. That's another reason why I was glad I had my wife with me. It would be a lot better than me finding a random person or a flight attendant or someone, or, you know, just uh, hugging onto them and saying, please help me. I don't know how to get out of this airport. So we didn't have that problem, thankfully. I got out of the airport fine. You didn't hear about me on the news. Some, you know, 30 year old man crying and like, where am I? Too much concrete and asphalt. I am lost. <laughs> and that's, that's what it felt like. Like Seriously, that was scary. I haven't flown on a plane in like 20 years. So a little bit jumping into the deep end is what it felt like. You know, not having my parents to guide me. You know, last time I flew, that's I had I was younger because I, and I had my parents with me. Went to Disney World. So uh, yeah, that had to have been like 20 years ago. So I feel old already in this video. And we made it though. We made it to Konami's office. They had the... The hotel was really close to uh, the office. The office, too, was really amazing. Actually, seeing that logo was a little bit surreal, especially whenever you've done Yu-Gi-Oh! videos for probably more than half of your life kind of thing. I think that's what we're up to now. Um, seeing the building like that was really cool. So, I gotta say, I was a little bit, you know, fanboy moment when I saw, I saw like, even a big Square Enix uh, building as well. So, that was also sick. It wasn't too far from the Konami one. And... Man, as soon as you walk in, you see that Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon statue. Jobber and I were trying to figure out how we could get that home. Like, seriously, we're like, okay, how many stamps do I need to put on this thing? Or can I just get another plane ticket just set it next to it? I don't know. <laughs> we wanted that so bad. It was so sick looking. I hope they make more statues in the future and have them around, like, the office or whatever. Because that was, like, really the only one. They also did have Snake from Metal Gear. You know, I had a couple of statues of him. But I want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! ones as well. And, of course, to go along with that, they had a lot of stuff on display. Like, a wall of, like, their video games that they've made. Because, obviously, it's Konami. It's not just Yu-Gi-Oh! They have a lot of different stuff that they have their hands in. A lot of video games and stuff. I remember seeing a lot of, like, the Frogger games, evidently, they helped with. And, of course, Metal Gear, that's one of their biggest game series and stuff like that. They even had, like, a lobby sort of game room area where you could play some of the different Yu-Gi-Oh! games and, and other games, like the, I think they had Ninja Turtles and some other stuff. They had, like, the 10th anniversary, like, a big uh, acrylic, like, stand, and it had a bunch of cards in it. Even, like, uh, I remember seeing the Red Nova First Ed in there, you know, from Star Strike. And evidently, it was for the 10th anniversary. So for that to be 15 years old, it's kind of surreal. And uh, that thing was probably one of my favorites, like I saw. And then they had like some other stuff in display cabinets. Evidently, they haven't really been there a ton of time because I think they got it, like, if I remember right, I think I was told they got that building around the time of the pandemic. And then so it's only been like recently that they're actually working in that office because, you know, all the stuff that happened during the pandemic. So they've been wanting to use this space, too, as a place for a big tournament. And they're finally able to do that. We had the UDS championships, the ones with their wrestler belts. And, um, yeah, we got to see who won out of all of them. And uh, it was a lot of fun to see. Even the room where they were dueling and, like, where we were live streaming was really professional looking. Had banners everywhere of Yu-Gi-Oh! banners. Had computers set up for, you know, Duel Links and Master Duel and, like, live streaming and stuff. And, um... 
that was really sick looking. Even the chairs with Yu-Gi-Oh on them. I'm going to have to get one of those. <laughs> that was really neat. And even like the stage for like where, where they were doing the featured duels and stuff. And I remember too, when I was doing interviews, if you don't know, I was part of this to be an interviewer. You probably saw me in live stream. I, I didn't pass out. I, you know, I did it. I actually did it. I didn't have a heart attack. I didn't have an anxiety attack. I shook a little bit, but I was able to do it and I'm proud of myself. So, uh, I remember being so nervous though, getting up there. Cause I was like, don't step in front of any cameras. There was cameras everywhere. You don't want to be that guy, you know, just walk in front of the camera, block something. <laughs> so it was really cool experience. And, uh, just that whole setup. I hope they do more of this. And I think that is their plan in the future because it was really cool looking, like really professional. And I enjoyed it a lot. Like that was amazing. The whole setup, the building was cool. We even had like little passes. The content creators had like little badges that could get us through certain doors and stuff. So that was awesome. Um, the players didn't even have that. So we felt kind of, you know, ah, look at me, you know, <laughs> I wanted to keep the badge too. They took them back at the end. I, I want to be like, look what I, even if it's deactivated, I have a Konami badge, you know, <laughs> that would have been cool. It doesn't have like their logo on it or anything, but you know, <laughs> I, I wanted to keep mine, but I get it fine. They don't want me to get into the building. I probably would have tried to live there with the, with the food and all they had in video games. So I get it. But, um, yeah, I, I do want to say too, first off, this doesn't happen. Without you guys, I mean, you guys supporting my channel, whether it been, you know, you saw my video today or you've watched me, you know, when my voice was a lot uh, higher, <laughs> then you've made all this happen. So first off, I do want to say thank you on that, because without you guys, this doesn't happen. There's no Cyber Night. There's none of this. So th none of this happens without you guys. And I, I can't say that enough. So thank you. Seriously, thank you for choosing to spend some of your time with me and watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. And everyone there, too, was so extremely nice. The Konami employees were nice. They seemed to be really receptive about different things. Like, we were talking to them about everything, you know, a variety of different things. And they were really listening, I gotta say. Like, I feel like I could actually talk to them and be like, hey, you know, this is cool. Eh, can we change this? Can this, you know, and, and that kind of stuff. And I, I don't think I could get into all that. But basically, I will say that they were like, let us know things. Let us know how things are going. We want, you know, you guys to be comfortable here. We want, you know, to listen to you guys because obviously you have a following. There's a reason for that, they even said. And it was just really nice. And I was glad to see that. So I'm hoping that maybe with them having this spot, maybe being able to do more tournaments there and all that, they seem like they were really trying to listen and want feedback and they want to do better and improve and all that. And I got to say... That was nice. That was nice to hear because I'm, I'm I'm used to whenever I see big company, whether whatever it is, Google, you know, Konami, whatever, Bandai, I don't know, just as an example, you're like, no one cares what I think. You know, that's honestly how I feel. Most I'm like, yeah, big company. They, you know, they just want to make the money. But they were really cool, I have to say. So it was nice to actually put faces to this business, you know, and I'm actually talking to real people. So I gotta admit, that was cool, and I'm hoping that uh, we can work together more and hopefully get more content creators involved and get, you know, uh, the best we can out of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go another 25 years, if not longer. So, that was really cool. All the content creators were super nice. I mean, we had, what was it, like, Jobber was there, Rhyme Style, Kangas, I believe was his username, uh, he was the one that did, like, the main casting. Uh, Tom Box from STTV, really awesome guy. I think I hung out with him the most because, like, we were, like, the first people to get there. Uh, Dazif, uh, I know he had like a, he, he was like the last one to get there because of his plane. Uh, he was really cool. Um, everyone was just nice. And we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in like the hotel lobby and all that. We we're playing a lot of GOAT format mainly is what I enjoy. That's what I mainly brought with me. And, um, so that was awesome. It was cool too to talk to these guys and, you know, talk about YouTube and Yu-Gi-Oh! and different things. We could complain about different things, too, especially with YouTube. That's easy. <laughs> so, you're like, what's working for you? Uh, you know, what's not working for you? That kind of stuff. And it was really fun to do that. And uh, I got to meet Billy Brake. He was really cool. I mean, he even said that he watched my channel, and I kind of had a little bit of a fan fangirl, fanboy moment. <laughs> I wanted to squeal like a fangirl, I guess. But that was awesome, I gotta admit. I was kind of, you know... Uh, I really got into that and yeah, just the whole experience, I gotta say was awesome. I'm so glad I was able to be a part of it and I'm glad I didn't turn it down because of my anxiety. So yeah, last year might've ended very lousy, but this year started off really cool in a lot of different ways too, which we'll probably talk about in another video at some point. So yeah, 
I just wanted to kind of talk about it, show you guys some footage and all that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just tell me what you guys think about, like, how did you enjoy the live stream and all that? Uh, do you think, you know, they should do more of that kind of stuff and all that too? Let me know. Cause I also hope they will. I mean, nationals is actually going to be in Austin, which isn't terribly far away from me. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to go to that. We'll see. Uh, I'll see if I can get to there. And, uh, I want to go to more, um, you know, big tournaments or thing. This event made it so I wanted to, you know, improve. Basically, I want to know more about Yu-Gi-Oh. I want to get more into the competitive stuff. I am very casual in the game because, honestly, I have less time these days because everything going on. But I want to enter more tournaments and I want to get better. Like, I, it kind of lit a fire under me and I really enjoyed that. And meeting those UDS, you know, uh, players and all too was nice. Tyler was like the main one I hung out with. Super nice. Kicked my butt completely in duels. But... Yeah, <laughs> it was it was still awesome. Cool guy. He's the one that did his unboxing. I think he got fifth place, if I remember correctly. And uh, I think it was fifth. I could be wrong. And uh, yeah, just everyone was so nice from Konami employees to duelists there and everything. So again, just uh, thank you to Konami for allowing me to be part of it. Thank you to you guys for making it possible. And uh yeah, I really hope they do more of this kind of stuff and they'll, you know, want to work with a lot of us. I'd like to see more content creators meet more of you guys out there and everything too and hang out, open some packs and play some Yu-Gi-Oh! So <laughs> that's just how I felt on it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this rambling video was enjoyable. So let me know if it was, if you want to see kind of, you know, this kind of content every so often. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. See ya.